Hi friends, welcome to Hashtag Kimi. So in continuation to the multi-threading related series, today I am going to bring you a new video on J console application uh, and how it is related to multi-threading. So and, uh, we will uh, see. So let's go for it. So to start with, we will I have gone to just the pathway in which JDK is installed on the beam path. And I will just type J console over here. And uh, this uh, executable file it uh, shows us a warning to if you want to run or not. And I will click on run. Yeah. So, yeah, uh, all the local processes that are currently running have to capture over here. And uh, what I've done, I'm uh, running the thread priority. And uh, the, the, in the last lecture that we've seen, uh, it's running in the background. So I just click uh, on here as thread priority demand, click on connect and I click on in seeker connection. Yeah. So uh, in the overview, you can see uh, in the top, uh, this is the overview tab. In that you can see uh, all the threads that are currently like running. Uh, it, this, it's categorized into the heap memory usage threads, classes, CPU uses and if I click on like uh, one day it will vary so uh, see that it's varying according to the usage it's varying one day threads, classes, CPU usage it's varying and uh, if I change like seven days the data is varying and if I click on all it will show the all uh, uh, time range and it can be broadly configured in the heap threads, classes and usage this is the overview and if you see at the bottom it's indicating the how how much is the use memory life uh, peak and uh, peak total so correspondingly i uh, have specifically chosen as thread pool demo uh, corresponding to that program that is currently running in the background in the, as a java application so, uh, that we have seen so, uh, we have to see data related to that only so uh, i am currently uh, using this uh, particular uh, uh, I've chosen as a thread pool demo, and if I click on uh, heap memory uh, on the memory tab, this is heap memory usage, and this is a non heap memory usage. If I click on all the non heap memory usage, it can be seen in a straight line over here, it's 25 uh, near about 225 MB. And uh, yeah, if you see in the below details, it's uh, indicating the time zone, and the currently the time zone is executing. Committed GC time uh, that is uh, some uh, timing young generation and old generation. Note these are type of uh, memory uh, as we have covered in detail related to the, in the meta space. Like, uh, some part is that uh, uh, thread that are currently uh, executed that are young generation and some thread that uh, survives some multiple rounds of execution that, that they are part of old generation. So if you uh, go in detail. So this is related to memory pool GD hidden space. And if I click on one day, it will show me the data corresponding as you have shown. Six months. If I want to do seven days data, it will vary. See. Uh, the time zone it's showing from 26 Feb to current seven days. And uh, if I click on all, it has shown me entire data that will be that will be captured in the memory pool uh, hidden space. And uh, corresponding heap memory space, if we choose, we will be a heap memory space. Non heap memory usage, here in the heap memory usage. Uh, old generation is the old G1 old generation. Uh, that is about, uh, you can see, uh, it's 2.7 MB actually. Yeah, it's kind of missing 2.6, 4, 6, 4, 2 gigabytes. And committed is so much. And uh, Two collection GC time, the garbage collection time has been 0 0.012 seconds on the G1 young generation, and uh, like survivor space is there. If uh, like the space that is uh, uh, server, that can be used in the survivor space, that is uh, indicated with this space. After that, we have memory pool for meta space. It is uh, used over here, and uh, the time space can be indicated. After that, we have code heap. Uh, from the profile methods 
and after that uh, we have uh, non methods code heap non methods so these are like uh, in the memory we have uh, after that uh, in the uh, these are like various types of charts we can consider so uh, like memory, memory categorization from heap non heap hidden space whole generation server space mem meta space in the meta space that is introduced in java it you can consider it the use space right that that, that way indicating that we have profile methods non methods and specifically on now you find into the thread steps is indicating at uh, if i say the threads total blocked total weighted files and it's showing the entire stack trace over here jmx server connection and uh, yeah the peak live threads if you see the count is 17 and if uh, like the past 30 minutes if one hour i consider the peak is 80 live threads counts as uh, 17 so, uh, because since past over uh, roughly half an hour i'm uh, yeah like using my java code and uh, so i'm executing and i'm doing some operation so it's indicated there is a main method yeah so correctly the main method that is the runnable that are currently running so uh, it is indicated the main method that is a uh, runnable it's uh, currently indicating main runnable total block zero total weighted zero stack trace uh, java 15 so if i move to f8 now see it's now move to java 19 so as i am debugging it's moving its uh, position so if i do f8 once more and if i click once more on the main see it's now moved from java uh, 19 to java 13 so uh, as uh, the debug progresses uh, the, the stack trace also progresses and we can maintain a stack over here that uh, the name of the thread is currently what is in which state it's belong to it is currently we are executing the main thread and it's currently is showing correctly and the state is also showing as runnable and uh, the block states are zero and uh, weighted states are also zero so uh, it is currently uh, correct correctly executing so that can be seen so so for like debugging purpose and you can if you want to see all the details related to you can use uh, such approach you can use a j console and uh, you can see the details of it and uh, so like other details your jmx server connection uh rm tcp and like a lot of uh, uh factors are there a lot of like uh, common cleaner attach listener you might know uh, not necessarily in all the details related to it and uh, i can very according like to the time on the see since past twelve hours if i see the uh, peak threads peak uh, what are the like there was 18 the live threads are 14 so they are currently executed under thread tabs and uh, if i want to see like since past 10 minutes if i want to see the peak threads is 18 and live threads count is 14 is currently executed and uh, because currently our main thread is but there these are the other threads if you consider if i consider this count this counts comes to 14 1 2 3 4 this, so all these threads count is 14 so currently it's uh, is executing as uh, 14 now it's one thread is gone no so it's 13 so uh, the, all the threads count is currently lively it's updating if i go to 30 minutes it will show uh, thread says 30 minutes if i to see since past one year question correctly okay so this is about the threads tab and you can see all the details related to it and uh, it's currently where, where it's executed in the stack trace and if you want to debug as you debug you the as the debug uh, progresses uh, in the program you know the currently it's uh, lively updated in the threads after that we have classes over here that also you can see uh, vary according to the time range and you can see the value the total loaded loaded one year 
if I click on more 12 hours, all so all the details can be seen over here. After that, we have VM summary. So it displays all the like you can see informative summary like the VM summary. The currently it's uh, as per the IST, what is the time? Sunday, third March, and it's showing the connection name as thread priority demo and uh, correctly it's assigned the thread priority demo and uh, the virtual machine. Uh, the vendor, uh, the name of uh, the name of the PC that is uh, Kavimi PC uptime, the process CPU time, JIT compiler, what kind of uh, compiler you use, total compile time, th live threads, D thread, demon threads that are executing, total threads, current heap size, maximum heap size, committed memory, garbage collector. Uh, so lastly, when it's run and what is being garbage collected? G1 Young Generation, three collections, total spend, time spent is 0 0.014 seconds. All the details can be seen. The operating system, its architecture, processors, uh, computed virtual memory, VM arguments, total physical memory, free space memory, entire details can be seen in the VM memory. Uh, all the snapshot within the, within the single will give all the details. And lastly, like uh, the class bar from it's loaded, uh, the being multi threaded being so it's mentioned over here. The library path is mentioned over here, and uh, yeah, the VM arguments that are used are mentioned over here. So, the, so it mentioned in short all the details related to the VM over here. After that, uh, we have like uh, the M beans, beans that are used in the NIO or. Uh, these are all the details you can consider over here. Class loading, you can see the object name, class name description, attributes, front time, uh, what are the attributes that are being used, what is the name, class path, specification, speed name, spec, uh, and the start time, all the details it can be seen over here. So yeah, so some like being specific details related to threads that can be seen under the MBs. So this video was all about related to uh, J console application in it and how you can uh, run through a currently executing program and see all the details related to it and. Uh, how we can categorize and do the memory, the threads, the classes, enter VM summary, and uh, so it gives us uh, like application GUI uh, interface to view all the details. So do keep liking, subscribing to hashtag me, move to come on multi-threading related topics, and stay tuned and bye for now.